Whoa, bro. You want to ride some skateboards and catch some waves? Maybe lay out in the sun. Maybe get the sticky icky. You know, California. Okay, that's where we're going A. John Tron is reviewing California games for us today. I have not seen oh. this. Um, I'm excited about it because I actually like surfing games and skateboarding games. I think of like California that. Raisins, but he's already talked about that. Yeah, he's already talked about that, yeah. so I don't know if that'll be it. But this should be a treat. It's a NES game, I think. So, you know, the graphics are going to be amazing. And I can't wait to uh, see him indoor. What will probably be a terrible game. He rarely does this with games where he's like, True. "Yes, this, this is, is amazing. Yeah. It's everything I ever hoped and dreamed." But for. it's like really entertaining and funny to look at these trash yeah. games that you would never play. I get a kick out of this, like in a nerdy fear factor kind of way, okay. where I'm like seeing him subjected to playing what? these terrible games, and it's just like his punchlines that he adds, you know, the injury to his own insult. Yeah. It's pretty fucking phenomenal. He definitely plays these games at length. Uh, and who knows how long it actually takes him or if he has a team. Yeah, that I does think it. he might have a team. What he do would you guys have think? To have a team. Uh, yeah, well he definitely does have a production team. No, like, but I mean to play the games. Like playing the games. That yeah. one game, that one game uh Takeshi, oh, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm surprised that I even remember that much. Of yeah. It. Um, thanks. Uh, I'm learning nerd things. Took like a really, really long time. He said. So. Yeah. yeah. I guess without any further ado, would you like to go ahead and get to the video? Sure. What about you? Awesome. Let's do it. Do a kickflip! <gasps> oh my god, summer's almost here! But I haven't lost my winter weight. <gasps> I can't look! Shot, what am I gonna do to lose all this weight? Stop inventing and eating things like cheesecake pizza. Oh, that was in the past, Sean. <laughs> cheesecake pizza's in the past! I suppose I should bring up your shortcomings as well. Oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he was smiling You know what I'm gonna do to lose weight? Actually go outside. Nah. I got an even better idea. Released in 1987 by Epix as a follow-up to the popular Winter and Summer Games series, California Games was made to capture and emulate the rhythms of the sun-bleached Pacific Coast. If I first stop traffic on a 405 freeway! Ah! Epix figured, why leave the comfort and shade of your own home to play in the hot summer sun? Skating, surfing, BMX, and more, baby! This game had it all! Damn. Surf's up, dude! That was cute. First up, the half pipe. Hell yeah. Ah, the Hollywood sign. Oh, that's how you know they're not fooling. This is a real deal California skate park. The game just kind of throws you right in. No tutorial or breakdown on how the mechanics work. Frankly, I'm not getting anywhere by standing up here. Time to dive right in. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I have a feeling this is foreshadowing. I don't know what I'm doing. He just falls over every time and his skateboard just hits him in the head. Then it Damn. gives me cryptic tips on the bottom of the screen, like too late for kick turn. Yeah, well, how about you just teach me the turn first and we'll add the kick later? Because I can't even switch directions. He just sort of weeble wobbles oh. and then falls. Oh. Every now and then when I pull off a move, it gives me random points. Oh. Yeah, stuff like 156 skull and crossbones <laughs> and 105 water balloon. At least you can give it to me in some terminology that makes sense, like coconut right. 56. Oh, now there's something <laughs> a sensible person could understand. Oh, 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 I got it. I got oh. it. I'm, I'm getting it. No, I'm not getting it. Oh. Let's move on to foot bag. Foot bag. Foot hockey side. Oh. <laughs> well, that's my favorite Cali sport. I don't know about you. Foot bag. What are you like, a street hawk? Street hawk. 
Hey, <laughs> uh, you uh, you got somewhere to be? I'm trying. I'm. I'll get. I'll get out of here. I'll go if I'm disturbing. I mean, I, I can take a hint. No, go. It's fine. There are a couple waves I can ride. Now I don't know who they were trying to fool here, but they should have called this what it really is: river dance practice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's just, it's just it's this hacky sack. This is yeah. not called foot bag. It's called hacky sack. Foot bag. Anywhere. Is that supposed to be the Golden Gate Bridge back there? Yeah, I know it's not actually gold, but seems like it might have a case of the seasonal depression. And is that Alcatraz <laughs> Island? Oh man, I mean, when I think of the beauty and majesty of California, the first thing, the first thing I think of is that the maximum security correctional facilities. Got to see it. You can actually knock down this bird. That's pretty fun. What? Come on. Get him. Get him. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I'm right here. Yeah, well, tell me what you're going to do if I hold you like an ice cream cone. I'm going to squirm a little, but not much. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, next event, surfing. Let's ride those waves. <laughs> what? It's like I'm really there. This one's a bit unintuitive at first. You die instantly unless you push left on the controller right away. You press left and right to turn your guy, and I guess you're trying to get as many jumps as possible before the wave comes and gets you. If you don't come down at the same angle you went up, you'll fall behind the wave. It always cracks me up. Shit. See you later. Also, sometimes when you wipe out, a shark comes up and is like, Oh, oh God. God. That is the cutest goddamn shark I've ever seen. I love him, and he's mine now. Overall, though, there's not much to this one. Next up is skating. Cool, like skateboarding? Oh, no, they mean roller skating. Roller skating. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Oh, my God. Come on, really? This girl falls over everything. Cracks in the cement. Tiny tufts of grass in the sidewalk. Same. Sand particles. Oh, she made it over the chalk on the floor. Gotta <laughs> be honest, didn't expect her to clear that one. They should give this game to sick patients, because I haven't had a laugh this good in a long time. Honey, I think maybe you should keep your day job. Okay, BMX, something we all understand. Please let this one be good. I mean, we've all ridden a bike before. Oh. Okay, except for this guy. Oh, 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 almost lost gravity there, Knievel Jr. That was a close one. Oh my god, I can't play literally a single one of these games. They're impossible to control, they're impossible to understand. I can't go five feet without eating shit. Yeah, and not to mention, the game literally mocks you by giving you colorful commentary throughout. Dorky, also possibly dead, call an ambulance. Try slowing down. Oh, oh yeah? Well, have, I, I, got, I got one for you. How about you try hiring a real programmer? That'll get, get us a few of these hurdles. I'm going to clip clap like a horse. Frisbee. I don't even know how to play this. What is this? Don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. <laughs> wow. It's a perfect 10. It's a bit bizarre. You control both characters here, the one throwing the disc and the one catching it. So this is a game where you play catch with yourself. Hey guys, chances are, if I'm actually playing this in the 80s, I'm probably already a fat, nerdy kid in his basement alone without friends. You, tr you trying to drive the point home or something? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh no, <laughs> I didn't get it. So there you have it. Those were the games. I mean, it seems to me that this That's is all? a perfectly accurate simulation so. of California sportery. If you suck! But luckily for us, they made a California Games 2. Ah. Let's see if they've since honed their programming skills. Oh my god. Okay. Well, there's that. <laughs> you guys, um... You, uh... You guys, you guys alright? So... Someone behind me? Let's drop in on a grommet? Oh, grommet. I, I, I used to say it all the time back in Cali. You couldn't stop me saying this word. Grommet this, grommet that. The fuck does grommet mean? California Games 2 gives you a whole slew of new sports to enjoy. First up is hang gliding. What? So majestic. Oh my oh, god! Shit. You alright? Good god, how violent. You wouldn't expect that from this game. Turns out what you have to do is watch the wind sock so you don't catch the wind in the wrong direction and fling yourself That's to a hard. rocky dune. 
Come on. Ah, almost. <laughs> I guess you're supposed to drop these water balloons onto the target, but I haven't been very good at it so far. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh, all right. There's no more targets over here. I'm glad they gave me silence so I could sit here and just contemplate the inevitable. <laughs> oh, there I go. What? Let's pick the guy holding what looks to be a surfboard. Oh, a boogie boogie. it's a helicopter it's a game. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what is going on here? Oh, is he oh. As you can see, they've oh, honed in on all the crucial Californian landmarks. Well, you got Hollywood Mount Everest back there, the San Francisco Bay Area 10 miles away, and the uh, dinosaur, <laughs> you know. The Los Angeles dinosaur. The famous Los Angeles dinosaur. I can't quite land this thing. Oh! That's no good. What? Oh my gosh. Uh, excuse me, is the <laughs> point of this game to there, fly right? a helicopter to the top of a mountain and chill with a hot babe? Well, I can't really fault anyone here. This is perfect game design. What you're actually supposed to do is drop yourself off at the top of this slope and start snowboarding down. Oh, this is California games? Why am I snowboarding with a view of both the desert and the Golden Gate Bridge? Both in the same view, from a snow, from a mountain, a snowy mountain. Yeah, something's telling me they uh, didn't do their research here. Except for the dinosaur, because like, like I was saying, that really was spot on. <laughs> After a while, you get out of the snow and hit the grass, so it's like you're actually going down a mountain. What it's kind of interesting, honestly. Then, eventually, you get to a snowboard half pipe, and this time you can actually control it, which is cool. It's too bad they didn't figure out how to program a clock yet, though, because that would have been really helpful. But they're getting close. Wave racing is wave racing. It's pretty cool for DOS, but pretty basic. Not much to say about this one. Next up is bodyboarding, I guess. I don't know why he decides to fall from the dock like that. I guess to get a head start into the ocean. Your job so is to weird. catch the wave. This is already a step up from the first game because it actually tells you what to do. As for understanding how to control it, well, you're still on your own there, buddy. I have no idea what I am doing. This is impossible. Oh no, there goes <laughs> grandma. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I did not edit that in. If you wait long enough, the silly music starts playing again. Really? Did they not think about how that might, you know, hey. ruin the moment? The last game is a skateboarding game. As you can see, you're only allowed in this scene if you have a severe disregard for rules and other people's property. Oh, and wow. all our favorite Cali phrases are here too, such as the most smooth, rad, and swood. Uh, they just couldn't stop me. I'm just, I'm going all up on the rooftops. Swood this, swood that. <laughs> just fucking, you know. Thank you, shit. It's a fucking show. What's the fucking light? Vertical hunger, yes, absolutely, because horizontal hunger is for grommets! Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, jeez, these graphics. The screen leading into the game looked better than the game itself. What the hell? This is the worst looking game by far. All the other ones had decent graphics. You know, this looks worse than one of those games that came prepackaged with Windows 95. <laughs> <laughs> looks pretty terrible. Whoop, whoops, looks like I fell off the pipe. <laughs> That's real? Oh my god. I died. I, for, for real, funeral and all. God, these people are really affected by this. That must have been one swood guy. I came here for fun in the sun, and all I got was a bunch of depressingly amateur sports Live people and a lot, a lot of uncalled for death. Just gratuitous death. We would have been fine without it. Rest in peace, my bronze-skinned babies. Rest in peace. Wow. <laughs> what did I just play? What, 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 what in the name of all that is holy did I just play? I, I wanted to have fun, damn it. For real this time. And all that happened was I got sad. And you, you know what? I don't need no stupid game to tell me how to have fun. I'll do it all on my own. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, these people are alive. Riders on the storm. 
Oh my god. That calls Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Oh my gosh. JonTron is sponsored in part by Audible.com, an Amazon company. As you may well know, JonTron is an independently run show, which means we fund and produce it ourselves. That's a great thing because it keeps us free of corporate shackles and we get to do whatever we want. But to keep the show free and running, we depend on sponsorships and advertisements. If you'd like to support the show, consider signing up for a free 30-day trial on Audible.com using this link, audible.com slash JonTron. What a terrible set of games. The intros kind of looked cool. Like the main screen, it was like, maybe. And then you get into it and it's like, nope. There were so many games like that that were just bundle games with all kinds of different sports or, you know, just the multi-pack games were usually terrible. Yeah. Until you got the gems, until you got the surprises. Like, um, I didn't expect for all the mini games to be as badass as they were on Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. You know, like Tekken 3 had some badass mini games in it as well. Uh, there, you know, and of course Mario Party and things like that are always awesome. But the sports games, like Wii Sports, was another one that usually those type of games suck. Right. And it was really, really good and really fun. Yeah. But yeah. Ugh. Um, watching this reminded me of some game that I used to play, and I have no clue what it is. And it was like a water skiing driving game. And I used to play it all Wave the race? time. Maybe. I don't know. Like we a jet ski. That one out. Yeah. yeah. I used to play that all the time. I love yeah. that game. Was it on PlayStation? I don't remember. I bet it was. I don't know. Probably. We'll figure it out. Let us know in the comment section what you think that game may be. And maybe on a live stream we can get you to yeah. play it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would be fun. Have a little nostalgia trip yeah. on stream. Like that would I be fun. totally didn't remember any of that. And then I was like, wait a second. That looks familiar. This but just it's, unlocked something yeah. deep within your brain. Yeah. But of course, the other game looked better. Maybe not that much better, but it definitely oh, looked better. Oh, I'm sure it looked better than that. Yeah. I expect, like, the second game's graphics weren't that much better than no. the first. I was just like, how much time did they take to make the second one? Probably not much. And what was with the landscaping? I don't know. That desert. It doesn't snow, make any sense. Like, I. Why I, would you do that? The bridge. To Rex. Yeah. Very confusing. But again, it's like fear factor for me when I watch this. John Tron having to play these games that I would never want to play. But it is funny to get his take on it. Yeah. Because he's a hilarious dude. And if you haven't subscribed to his channel, maybe this would be a good opportunity for you to do that. Because we will have this video linked down in the description. You could also subscribe to our channel if you wanted to. You could like this video you could share this video you could recommend other videos for us to react to in the future yeah you can do that in the comments below or on our discord we have a wonderful community on our discord we're gonna have a link to that in the description and you can give us recommendations there yeah and we go live every monday and thursday night at 6 30 eastern standard time we would love to see you there that would be really cool but if not we appreciate you for watching this video anyway we'll see you in the next one see you